Mesechet Nida, Perakei Mishnah Vav, 6th Mishnah, the 5th chapter of Mesechet Nida. Continuing describing ages. So now we're talking about Nidarim. Nidarim are oaths. And when a person takes an oath, so normally, in order to, you have to have Da'at. In order to have Da'at, you have to be a majority age. You have to be the age where you're either Ba'at or Ba'at Mitzvah. But the Halakha, as we're going to see, is that for Nidarim, we assume that if a child is within the Ba'at or Ba'at Mitzvah year, then their Nidar is Chal, and they have Da'at, as we'll see. But once a girl is 11 years, 11 years and one day old, meaning she had her 11th birthday, we call it 11th birthday, but they call it her like into her 12th year. If she makes a neder, nedarim in the times of Chazal, the Torah talks about it. We don't make nedarim anymore. We don't really take them uh, all that seriously, but their nedarim were binding. So your nedarim are nivdakim. They're examined. I.e., im yadal, the shame mina drav. She knows to who, meaning to, to who she is taking the neder, i.e., she understands she's taking an oath to God and it's religiously binding. The shame mi higdisha or hegdesh is to dedicate something to the Beit Migdash or to God. Nidara, neder, then it's a neder. Then they're, that's why nivdakim, they're examined. And if, if they fi- we find out she understood, then it's good. But shtemes say shana v'yom echad, if she, once she becomes 12, once she hits bat mitzvah, nidariya kayamin. Then her, her nidarim are kayam, they're, they're established. Ubodkim kol shtemes say, the whole 12th year, if she's making nidarim, making nidarim, we examine her. This apparently was very common. As I said, it's not common at all for us. We don't make nidarim like that. But uh, clearly they, they would do this and it was part of their religious experience. And if you think about it, we do so many things when we put them in the context of religion, they have that much more meaning. Um, the mission continues, and be, male also, a, a male who's 12, once he has his 12th birthday and one day, the day after his 12th birthday, nidarav kayamim. Nivdakim, excuse me, nidarav nivdakim. His, his nidarim are examined. Ben once he turns 13, and one day, Nidarav Kayamin. Then is Arima Kayamin. So we examine in 12, and Kayamin, we assume it's okay at 13. Ubodkim Kol Shloshta. And you examine all 13. You examine. I mean, you don't assume that, uh, that during the 13th year. So the Bartinari says, what does that mean? You would have said, Shloshim Yom Bashanach Hashim, maybe 30 days into the year. Uh, it's considered already we went, it's a month in. So therefore, Hecha Dibid Kenuha Shloshim Yom Kamai Dishtei Mesvei. Maybe if you checked once in the 13th year or the 12th year for the girl and she didn't know, you wouldn't check. No, you have to check the entire year. If they make an edda, you check. You know what that means. Okay. But, even before this time, even if they say, before, if there's a girl before her 11th year, she says, I know. To the name of who? I.e., for what sake? For the sake of to whom to whom we are making the hegdesh? The neder is not a neder, and the hegdesh is not a hegdesh. But after the thirteenth year, after the bar or bat mitzvah, av al pisha amru. Even though they said ain anu yodim, they say we don't know. L'shem mi nadar and l'shem mikdashnu. To who it's for, or for what it's for? Nidra neder ve'hegdesh on hegdesh. Their neder is a neder, and their hegdesh is hegdesh. We'll stop here, dedicate our learning to memory. My father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.